Hello, hello, I'm Li Hao. So how's everyone doing? I hope you are doing safe in this pandemic. Me personally got a little scared because I went to a mall that has people tested positive. So I took a swab test. Thank God it's negative. So luckily I'm here and doing video with you. So I hope you guys stay safe and never let your guard down during this pandemic. You know what? Now it's Svelte's question time. You have any questions? I have answers for you. And the question for today in this video is about how do you pass Svelte component through props? So I saw this questions in Stack Overflow that says, I want to pass Svelte component as props. Um, apparently you can do that in React, but can I do the same thing in Svelte as well? Well, in this video, we're gonna explain how you're gonna do it. So Svelte question time. In React, it is common to see component props that allows to be taken in string as well as any elements or components. So in this case, I have my tab panel component in React, which takes in the title and show the title over here. So this title itself can be anything, can be string elements or components. So over here, I have a string, that's why you see string title, but I can easily change it to say component like underline title. Then you can see that my title is being underlined or I can change it to a component if I like to. Say for example, a big red title instead. And there you go. However, you can't do that in Svelte. Um, Svelte supports HTML syntax and having elements inside an attribute or component inside an attribute is not a valid HTML syntax. So you can't really go over here and say you want to change this to say having um, elements like that right so immediately you can see even the syntax highlighting is complaining you can't really this is not a valid html and not a valid spell syntax so what should you do well we can use slots over here whatever you are passing in over here without doing a slot is actually your default slots but we can also come over here and have some name slots instead so um so I'm going to change this to put it over here. I'm going to move it over here and pass in a slot attribute called title. So we're going to assume that we have a name slot called title inside um, my tab panel. So do I have that? Well, I do not, but I can add it. So I can come over here and say slots name equals to title. So this is our title name slot. And whatever pass in, whatever is passed into the felt um, slot attributes elements whatever is whatever elements is being passed into the title slot attribute will be inserted into our title name slots so this allows us to have our elements inserted to our name slots however sometimes you want to pass in string or components into that name slots you would have to use what we call a svelte fragment Right, because you need to put the slot attribute somewhere and you can't really put it in a component or a string, right? Uh, in a string, there's no elements to put that slot attribute. So in this case, we're going to put it in uh, elements, uh, a geometric element called fragment, and we're going to put whatever inside this element, right? So this will be like our placeholder for our slot attribute. So here you see that you can't pass in um, just a string or we can't import a uh, big red title. And use it over here. Title equals to title. So in Svelte, there's no way that you can pass in components or elements as the props to a component. So the only way you can do is that you create a name slot and pass it in via a name slot. So I hope that you learned something. So if this helps you, like the video. And as always, subscribe to my channel so that I will see you in the next video. So see you, bye bye.